Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with another subscriber requested video for you. So I was recently asked to talk about fragrances that make me feel like a goddess when I wear them. Um, I've got 12 here because I tried to stop at 10, but um, I've got a lot of fragrances that I absolutely love to wear that make me feel so good when I wear them. I just, I feel like I smell so good when I wear them. I could actually do a part two to this video, so if you guys love this and you want to see a part two, let me know because I can definitely do a part two. <laughs> I've definitely got more that I wasn't even able to pull for this video. But anyways, I've got 12 fragrances here and I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with a very, very obvious one because I wear this so much. I've talked about it endlessly on this channel and I just love it. It smells incredible on me and I just love wearing this perfume. Um, this is a fragrance from YSL and this is YSL Lee. This is the intense formulation. Um, I have, I think I've got every single formulation uh, that they, yeah, I've got every single formulation of this and the intense is still my favorite. I just, I love the syrupiness of this fragrance. As my bottles age, and as I become kind of more familiar with this perfume, when I smell this out of the bottle now, I almost get like a cinnamon honey. That's what it smells like to me when I very first smell it out of the bottle. I don't want to talk about this one too much because I talk about this all of the time on this channel. I love this fragrance. It smells incredible on me. I definitely feel like a goddess when I wear this. This is one of those perfumes that every time I wear it, I just know I smell amazing and I just love it. It makes me feel really good about myself when I wear this and I feel like I just smell great. It's syrupy, it's sweet, it's heavy. It's everything that I love in a perfume. Um, it's honeyed, it's it's just perfection. I love it. It's one of those perfumes that I really think this is going to stand the test of time. I think I'm still going to be talking about this perfume 20 years from now. So anyways, that is the first one. That is YSL Libra. I'm going to talk about a couple of Mugler fragrances. Um, I could probably put every single Mugler fragrance that I've got in this video though because there is something about Mugler fragrances that are just I mean, they're, they're fragrances to make you feel like a goddess. That's what they're, I, I honestly believe that that's what Mugler perfumes are for, <laughs> is to make people feel like goddesses because they're incredible. Um, you cannot go wrong with just the original Alien. This perfume definitely makes me feel like a goddess every time I wear it. This perfume is so special smelling. It's so... Again, dark, deep, syrupy. It's a very strange mix of jasmine and amber. It's not a jasmine that I've ever smelled anywhere else. This is a very, it's a very different kind of jasmine. It's beautiful. I love this. This is a an original formulation bottle. I've heard I've heard good and bad things about what it smells like now that L'Oreal has taken them over. I think it's L'Oreal that took them over. Um I've, some people say that it smells exactly the same, that they don't have any problem with it. Um, and some people say that it's terrible. So all I know is that I'm gonna savor this bottle. I'm gonna ration it for the rest of my life because I don't really wanna find out. I just will, I'll stick to my bottle. But this is a perfume made to make you smell and feel like a goddess. It's incredible. Uh, so anyways, that is Mugler. Alien, and then the other Mugler fragrance that absolutely makes me makes me feel like a goddess when I wear it is this one here. This is Mugler Angel Muse, and this is Angel, but uh, less a little bit less patchouli, hazelnut instead of chocolate, and it's sweeter than the original Angel, but it's still the Angel DNA through and through. Again, it is heavy, it's syrupy, it's sweet, and every time I wear this, I definitely feel like a goddess. Um, it's one of those perfumes that I just, I get so many compliments on this when I wear it. Um, it's a crowd pleaser. People love this perfume. I'm sure there are people that don't like it, just like there are people that don't like Angel. I love this one though. It is fantastic and I feel amazing every time I wear it. 
So anyways, that is Mugler Angel Muse. Okay, this next one, this is a perfume that I very rarely talk about on this channel and I should be talking about it more. It is a stunning perfume. This is a fragrance from Victoria Minya and this is called Hedonist. And there's a whole Hedonist line. There's like a Hedonist Rose now. There's a Hedonist, I think, Absolute. This is just the original Hedonist though, and this is, this is peach and honey and rum. This, again, it's very sweet. It's very decadent smelling. This one is boozy. Yeah, it's like boozy honeyed peaches. It's very, very deep, syrupy, heavy. It's fantastic, and every time I wear this, I feel like a goddess for sure. Um, it's very, very unique smelling. I've never smelled anything quite like this. This is one that I would test though before uh, before buying because it is very sweet and it's very heavy. And I do think that this could make somebody sick um, if you maybe wore it during the wrong time of the year or if you're somebody that doesn't like really, really sweet fragrances. But I do love this and I do feel like a goddess every time I wear this. So anyways, that is Victoria Minya Hedonist. Okay, this next one, um, I can wear either version of this, but this one in particular definitely makes me feel incredible. This is a fragrance from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle Le Parfum. And this is pear and vanilla and uh, vetiver. I can't remember. There are some differences in the notes between this one and the original. Um, but they smell identical to me. This one just smells darker, deeper, more syrupy, a little bit sweeter, and it smells amazing. And I feel amazing every time I wear this. It smells really good on me. It's just, it's perfection. It's my kind of fragrance. And that's, you'll see a running theme here. These are fragrances that are my kind of fragrances. They're dark, deep, heavy, sweet perfumes and that's what I feel most comfortable in and what I think represents me best and this is no different. This is just beautiful. I get compliments on this every time I wear it. This is a crowd pleaser. I love both versions of this but I really really love the Le Parfum version especially in the cold weather. It's just so good. So anyways, that is Jean-Paul Gaultier, La Belle Le Parfum. This next one, this is just me in a bottle and because of that, it makes me feel like a goddess because this, this is a perfume that smells like it was made for me. Um, this is a fragrance from Etat Libre d'Orange and this is called Like This. And I love this. This, to me, is like, this is a perfect fragrance. This one is not heavy. This isn't a heavy fragrance. This isn't like deep, dark, and syrupy like a lot of the other ones. But this is a fragrance that just smells like home to me in a bottle. It smells like what I want to smell like. If I had to be known for a smell, if, if when people thought about me and thought about how I smelled, if, if they thought about this, I would be happy. Like, this is what I want to smell like. This is what I would want to be known for. I love this perfume. It's nothing special. I say that every time I talk about this. There's nothing like mind-blowing about this fragrance. It's it's almost quite unassuming. Um, it's got Immortelle in it. It's got some ginger in it. I swear I, at one point I read that it's got pumpkin and carrot seed in it. I can't confirm that though because I can't find that anywhere now. Um, sometimes I think I came from an alternate universe where Francis Kirkjian was the perfumer for Lovely and because I swear I remember that from years ago. I even said it in a video years ago, but he's not. And in an alternate universe, I swear that this has pumpkin and carrot seed in it, but I can't find it anywhere now. But anyways, this, I love this. It is absolutely stunning. It's got vetiver in the base. Um, it's not sweet. It's not, again, there's nothing groundbreaking or mind-blowing about this perfume. It's quite unassuming, but 
I love this. This is me in a bottle and if I had to smell like one thing for the rest of my life and if I had to be known for a smell, this is what I would want to be known for. I love it. So anyways, that is Etat Libre d'Orange like this. Okay, this next one. I love this. This is an old signature of mine and I used to feel like a goddess every time I wore this and I still do because it brings back all of those memories. Um, this is a fragrance from Dior and this is called Hypnotic Poison and this is incredible. This is like, this is jasmine and caraway. It's got vanilla in the base. It's fantastic. I mean, it's beautiful. It's This perfume smells like a goddess in the bottle. So anybody that wears this is going to smell like a goddess. Like I said before, this was a signature for me. I wore this year round, day, night, heat, cold. I didn't care. I wore it and I always felt incredible wearing this. Um, and I used to get so many compliments all of the time. It's just an incredible perfume. So anyways, that is Dior Hypnotic Poison. Yeah, I've got so many more perfumes that I could put, I could definitely do a part two. Okay, this next one, I used to wear this back when it very, very first came out. So this reminds me of being young and carefree and like in my early mid twenties. Um, and I love it. This is a fragrance from Britney Spears. This is Britney Spears Fantasy Stage Edition, which is the original formulation of Fantasy, which has less kiwi and more cupcake. The new formulation has more kiwi and less cupcake. So it's more, it's a little bit more of a fruity fragrance. This original formulation though is amazing. It's like a perfumey vanilla cupcake with a tiny bit of kiwi in it. This one isn't nearly as fruity. This one smells like frosting. It really does. It smells like perfumey frosting. And this reminds me of being really young, like being carefree, going out, hanging out with my friends. Um, I just love it. I love this. And because of that, it makes me feel really good when I wear it. It reminds me of just better times, better days, even back in the earlier 2000s. It was just a better time. So anyways, that is Britney Spears Stage Edition. Love it. Okay, this next one, I love this one and this one makes me feel like a goddess because this one makes me feel like a grown woman. It smells expensive and I just love it. This is just Chloe, um, just the original Chloe. Some people get bent out of shape every time I say that because the original Chloe is a Karl Lagerfeld fragrance and it's a different fragrance, but it's been long discontinued. This is the original Chloe now. So if I'm gonna talk about the, the old Chloe, I'll uh, differentiate it by saying the Karl Lagerfeld one, but this is the original Chloe now and I love this. This is the most beautiful, fresh, kind of slightly sweet, rose fragrance. I absolutely love this. This makes me feel like a grown put together woman. I feel like it smells expensive. It makes me feel like I smell expensive and classy and grown up. And I absolutely adore it. Um, I just think that Chloe fragrances are just some of the best designer fragrances on the market because they're amazing quality. They all smell really classy. They all smell um, expensive. They all smell grown. I just, I adore them. I love Chloe fragrances. I cannot say enough good things about them and I feel like a million dollars every time I wear this. Um, and I have, I've been wearing this for years since, I don't even know, I feel like 2014-ish is when I started wearing this because I got like a little, I got a pack of minis and it had five different minis. So it took me ages um, to go through them. But yeah, um, I've been wearing it forever and I just love it. Anyways, that is Chloe from Chloe. Okay, this next one, this is a Dreamhouse Curio scent. I get compliments on this fragrance every time I wear it and I absolutely feel like a goddess every time I wear this perfume. This is Blood Cherry Cordial. Um, this is the most beautiful, like sweet, syrupy, maraschino cherry and gooey chocolate. 
That's what it smells like. And somehow it does that without smelling synthetic. It doesn't smell like cherry cough syrup. It doesn't smell like synthetic chocolate. It smells like a jar of maraschino cherries that instead of syrup are in chocolate. That's what it smells like. It's incredible. I feel incredible every time I wear this. I get compliments on this every time I wear it. Uh, people love the way that this smells on me and I feel really, really good every time I wear this perfume. So anyways, that is Blood Cherry Cordial from Dreamhouse Securio. Lasts absolutely forever too. You can get a good six, eight hours out of this perfume, which is a lot for like a chocolate cherry perfume. So anyways, there's that one. Okay, this next one. This is another one that, this is just an incredible perfume. Uh, this is a fragrance from Untamed and this is called Mevolana. And this is one of those fragrances that every time I spray this on, I feel amazing because I know I smell amazing. This is another one that has all of the aspects of a perfume that I love. It's, oh my gosh, it's warm, it's dark, it's cozy. It's super, super unique smelling. I've never smelled anything else like this. And it's because Sonata uses Greek mastic in a way that I have never smelled in perfumery before. And it's special. It's really, really special. But this is another one that this makes me feel super classy. It just makes me feel very classy, very expensive. Like there's just something about it. It's so unique and just incredible. This is another one that's kind of like, like this. It's kind of like me in a bottle. This is one that I could definitely see being like a signature for me. Again, I've got a huge dent in it. Um, I have sent out quite a few decants of it, but I wear this so much that a lot of that dent is from me. I love this perfume. I just think it's incredible. This one only gets better as it ages too, and I love it. I feel amazing when I wear this perfume. This thing is an absolute beast too. You only have to put this on one time and you are good. Um, it's incredible. Incredible quality, performs amazingly well, and is just one of my favorite perfumes on the planet and I feel amazing every time I wear it. So anyways, that is Mevlana from Untamed. And then last but not least, this is a fragrance from Marc Jacobs and this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. And I love this perfume. To me, this is Christmas in a bottle. This smells like Christmas time to me and I absolutely adore it and I feel incredible when I wear this perfume. This, again, like all of the other ones, it's deep, it's dark, it's, it's rich, it's syrupy, it's got plum in it, it's got papyrus in it, I think it's got a little bit of saffron in it. It's sweet and syrupy and dark. It's everything that I love in a perfume and I feel incredible when I wear this. This makes me smell like a goddess when I wear it. It smells amazing on my skin. Um, and I just love it. And I mean, even the bottle, I mean the bottle, it looks like a perfume for a goddess. It's such a like big, huge, gaudy bottle, but I love it. I'm sad that Marc Jacobs doesn't have perfumes anymore. In fact, the whole cosmetics line is gone, I believe, which makes me sad. I didn't really love the makeup though. I don't think that Marc Jacobs did makeup super well, but I do think that Marc Jacobs did perfume. No, they do still have the, um, they do still have the Daisy line, but they discontinued all of the best ones. The original was amazing. Decadence is amazing. Um, I think all they've got is like the Daisy line now, if I remember correctly. But anyways, I mean, the name says it all, Decadence. It's a decadent perfume. It is incredible. It makes me smell and feel amazing. It is a beast of a fragrance, lasts forever, and it smells like Christmas in a bottle, and I adore it. So anyways, that is Marc Jacobs Decadence. And that is gonna be it, you guys. Those are 12 perfumes that make me feel like an absolute goddess when I wear them. I could definitely do a part two to this. Let me know if you're interested. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next one.
Bye.